Hey, what's up guys? Malt here. And, as you can see here, Chapter 3 is available. So, why don't we find out what's going on in Chapter 3. This is the brand new chapter. Came out within the last few weeks. Let's see if there's a lot of progress since last time. Okay. Alright, we're back with... I, I assume if I was, you know, if I just finished Chapter 2 like a few months ago, whenever it came out, or I guess half a year ago or so, I'd be pretty damn hyped right now because the new chapter's finally out. I'm hyped too, but I'm gonna feel that for chapter 4 soon. I have a feeling, so let's find out what happens. Apollo. I knew it wasn't a good idea. I should have stopped him. But deep down, I wanted him to come with us. Yet. Remember that, guys? Remember when that happened last episode? Uh, why do the things have to turn out like this? Is it true that we can't do anything to help, people, to help the people trapped here? Do we have to keep going while they are left behind? That's so cruel. I feel so guilty. No, it's this train's fault. We'll find a way to save Diana and Apollo. We can't be sure that Apollo is dead. We haven't even seen his body. We know he lost an eye, but perhaps he's still alive somewhere. In that case, we can still save him. We can't lose our hopes yet. Is that even his eye? Let's go, Luna. The next building is waiting for us. Plot twist, there's no building. Nah, it's probably gonna be a building. <laughs> Darn system, what kind of building is this though? What is that? That was like a cool theme for the other building. These buildings don't scare me as much anymore, you know? To be honest, I'm actually eager to go inside. I believe we'll find the truth inside them. I feel so closer to solving this mystery, but we still need to investigate a little more. Let's go. Let's see what chapter 3 looks like. It looks the same as everything else. Just like in the previous buildings, there's a huge clock here. That means our clock should restart now. Oh wait, I see crystal walls. That could be cool. We've got three hours to find the train. No problem, we can do it. What the? We'll find out the truth while we try to escape. Dirty wooden box in poor condition. Aha, the truth. A box all along. Wooden barrel, great. Yes, open the trap door, let's go. Let's get out of here. First save point of the game. The atmosphere seems different in comparison to what we've seen so far. I think we are in some sort of mine. Surely this building is dangerous too, so it's best to explore very carefully. A mine sounds pretty creepy, let's do it. Let us do this. There's gold inside. In any situation, I'd be excited to find something this valuable. But right now, I just want to get out of here. Yeah, imagine finding gold, but then you're just stuck and you can't escape. So, uh, rip. I'm making money from that. Can't go through here. More wooden barrels. Just an empty... Okay. More gold. Great. The same commentary every time. There is an- oh, there's a hole here. There's a huge hole in the ground! I can see something down there, but we can't reach it from here. Do we need a rope or something? Minecart used for transporting minerals. Why don't I push it? Okay, great. Wow, did I really need a safe point here? I just walked forward. Did I miss something? Did I miss something important so far? It's been like two seconds. Metal box covered in dust? That's different from a wo wooden box. Ooh, mine pick. Bad condition. There's a crack. Luna, look at this. There's a hole in the wall. There must be something on the other side. We need to go look inside. Wait. I think it's best if one of us keeps watching the entrance. This could be another trap. It's safer if we don't both if we both don't go in. The hole is very narrow. I think you could move inside easier. I don't know, my my anime style to head seems just as big as that crack. But I can go in your place if you prefer. I don't mind. If you're going in, then I'll keep watch here. If the entrance gets blocked or something, I'll find a way to help you. What if the entrance just crushes me? How about that? Wow, this is way more spacious than I expected. Probably shouldn't touch that. Let's not touch that bloodstain.
There's a noose there. That's good, too. Rope. I need that for that hole. Uh-oh. Did the entrance close? Eh, it's probably not important. Several blue crystals inside. There's a letter here. Looks like a farewell letter, but the paper is so worn that it's difficult to read its contents. Oh! Someone just straight up killed himself. Got it. Now, what the hell was that? What is... Is he just trying to punch the door open right now? Oh no, he killed three eyeballs on his own. No one will hurt Luna. I don't want to see- Oh, he picked up the broken pickaxe and killed all of them. I don't want to see someone I appreciate get hurt in front of my eyes again. I'll fight to protect them! Do you understand? I've had enough! Ah, Luna. This is, uh... Some enemies appeared while you were inside. They wanted to get inside, so I used his pickaxe to stop them. It's a shame it broke while I used it. In fact, all the weapons we've seen so far are in terrible condition. I suppose to avoid having a weapon in this place. It's getting easier to predict when something dangerous is going to happen. I knew it would be a trap, but I didn't imagine the enemies would show up. Anyway, what was inside? Did you find anything useful? A rope? That's great! I know the perfect place to use it! Me too! Well, that was a nice detail they added. Beautiful. Okay! Now we have very bloody shoes. Let's go to that giant hole. The giant hole needs our attention. What? Oh. I guess that's not what I was... I, don't, I guess that wasn't it. That ain't it, chief. What was the rope for? Is there something I totally forgot about? This? No? Well, okay, I thought I knew the perfect place, but apparently I don't know the perfect place. Oh wait, aren't I supposed to attach to this? Is that what it is? I got attached to this rock? Come on, man! Alright, whatever. Perfect, I think that'll do. Just like before, it's best for one of us to go inside. If something happened to the rope, I won't be able to climb back up. Now it's my turn, fair. Wait for me here. Here I go. Is he gonna get his ass kicked? A lot of keys! What's this? There are too many keys! There's so many, but this one looks good. Or uh, that one? I want to just open the chest. Can't open the chest. I'm going to want to open the chest. Now that there are senses, I'd have the patience to try them all. But now that I have limited time, I can't waste it trying each one. There must be a more efficient way of knowing which is the right key. Yeah, it's probably the... Huh, there must be a there must be some sort of pattern here. But I'm guessing the key for this is probably one that has silver and gold. One of these ones. But they're probably facing in a certain direction. Wait, can I just walk around and just keep spamming? It's not really giving me any hints at all here. Alright, maybe I don't do this. There's something I'm missing. But let's go back up. Someone finish examining this place. What should I do? Examine the chest. It's a completely normal chest. Hit it! I think it's impossible to break like this. I wish that pickaxe didn't break. It would have come in handy now. Alright, so then move it. There's a note hidden underneath. I'm sorry, but you can't hide from Neil Lawton. Let's see what's written on this note. 2W2N3E1S2E2S. So the directions that I should probably write down. Also, now let's take a screenshot. Maybe it's a clue to find the right key? All right, so from here we go 2W, 2 North, 3E, one so uh two e two south this one dig with my own hands that's like a wooden floor i mean a stone floor how did i do that my hands should be bloody as hell what the correct key No 
Another note inside the chest. The purple crystal hides a secret. A secret? Well, I'm gonna find what that is! What? This one? This must be the purple crystal, let's see. Oh boy, a secret! It wasn't a crystal, it was a switch! Something must have changed! Time to go back to Luna. Luna is dead. So now she seems fine. Luna, I'm sorry, it took a little longer than I expected, but I activated some sort of switch. I don't know what it was for. Something must have changed for sure. Let's look again. Oh, I know what changed. That pathway is closed, is now open, right? There it is. Let's save. Out of the way, minecart! Personally, I think it's better to use it, but we could move faster and rest for a while. Don't your feet hurt? We've been walking for a while. Oh, you're a traveler. You must be used to it. Are we ready to get on the minecart? Yes! Is it gonna be haunted and start racing? Okay. Ah, an explosion! Uh, we need to go, we need to waddle a little faster. That was too close! That was really close! Good thing we used the minecart for some reason, which moves a lot slower than us. Ugh! Ugh! Damn it! These buildings are always finding a way to surprise me! I wasn't expecting something that dangerous. Such a creative way to welcome us to this building, huh? Luna? Uh-oh, something that she's actually scared of. Luna, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Please react! Luna, can you hear me? Don't worry, you're safe. The explosion scared you? There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Look at me, I'm right here. Nothing is going to happen to you. Luna, please listen to me. It's the first time I've seen her so frightened. Are you sure you can stand? I can barely read her handwriting. Her hands are shaking as she was writing. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm terrified of explosions. Luna, I don't want you to be sorry for something like that. Besides, who wouldn't be scared of an explosion? I'm still shaking. We're both in a terrible situation, but we've gotten far... We've, got, you, we've gotten very far together, and we'll th uh, go through this together. And we'll get through this together, you can be sure of that. We are going to go through any obstacle we find, even if, it is, if it's an explosion. If you're troubled, I'll be by your side to help you. Remember that you're not alone. Let's keep fighting together. There must be a reason why she's so scared of explosions. But now's not a good moment to ask her. She's still in shock. For now, I can only try to cheer her up. That's a very oddly specific fear. She would really hate jump scares. Actually, she doesn't get jump scared, so... Rock blocking the way! If Apollo were here, he'd be able to move without any problems. It still feels weird that he isn't with us. Apollo. Remember that guy? Good times. He trusted us to the end, despite the circumstances. I won't disappoint him. I might not be as strong as him, but together we can do it. I know, why don't we use an explosion? What? Oh, we literally, together we can do it. Oh, we both pushed it together. Gotcha. Why didn't we do that for that shelf that we got stuck on last time? When he had to save us. Dirt and rocks inside. Dirt and rocks inside. Great. A minecart used for transporting minerals. Luna is still scared. Maybe I should talk about something so she would stop thinking about the explosion. You know I travel to solve mysteries and become a detective, right? Well, for a living, I also accept rather boring tasks. For example, once I had to take a request from a restaurant owner, there was someone stealing his fish every day and I had to find out who it was. In the end, I found out the culprit was his own cat. He got really mad at me when I told him. He said his cat would never do something like that. He even ended up not paying me. Well, I hope his dear cat is still stealing his food. He truly deserves it. Ha ha ha, what a funny story. It's so pathetic. Who is the new character? Who's there? Please, don't move. Oh, it's a girl. Here I go. She looks really cute from her sprite. Hop! A perfect landing. So exciting. There are more people around here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Since I could only hear your voice, I thought there was only one person. Honestly, I thought you were some weird guy talking to himself. But I'm happy to see there are two people. The more the merrier. This is too sudden. I don't know what to say. 
don't need to be shy with me. Shy, I'm just a, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised too. I really wanted to see someone. But you don't look too happy to see me. I'm not dangerous, I promise. Oh, and if I say that, I'll seem even more suspicious. Before anything, let me ask you something. Sure, feel free to ask me anything you like. Do you want our pocket watches? Why would I want your pocket watches? I've got mine already. So look, here it is. See, I don't need another one. Besides, I'm way more interested in this. It's a book about sign language? Yes, it is. Wait a second, that book is mine. When did you take it? You're learning sign language? Incredible. Why are you interested in it? Because Lu Luna is mute and I want to... Wait, you didn't answer my question. Where did, where did you take that book from me? Give it back. What did you say? Luna? Mute? Could it be? Is your name Luna Wendell? You know Luna? No, it can't be. Luna. Is it really you? Do you remember me? I'm Celine Ambrose. We live together in the same orphanage. Okay, okay. We got, we got, a, we got a childhood buddy. You remember? I was the girl who stole the food from outside and shared it with you. It's been a long time. I didn't recognize you. Your hair is longer now. It looks good on you. Your childhood friends? Yes, Luna was my first friend. But she disappeared from the orphanage and we never saw each other again. I was so worried about you. You didn't even say goodbye. What happened? It was so. It was all so sudden. What matters is that you're well. I escaped the orphanage shortly after. It was a very. It was very boring without you. You escaped the orphanage. Yep. It was hard to live on my own in the beginning, but I managed to survive by stealing things. I was used to stealing stuff in the orphanage, after all. At, at first, I only stole things to survive, like food. But little by little, I started stealing more valuable things until I became a famous thief wanted by the police. You're a thief? Why are you saying that so proudly? Because no one ever caught me. I'm not a thief anymore. That was part of my past. Now I live an honest life, I promise. So don't worry. I won't steal your pocket watches. My specialty is stealing and sneaking away. If I wanted your watches, I would have already stolen them. I see. How are you, Luna? What have you been doing all this time? You must have a lot to tell me. Huh? You don't need to apologize. You surely had your reasons to leave. Neither should you use that notebook with me. I know sign language, don't you remember? Really? I learned it when I was little for the same reason as you. You did it for Luna? Yes, Luna was the only friend I had, and I wanted to communicate with her more easily. So you won't have to, we would often talk in sign language. The other kids couldn't understand us. It was really fun. It was like a secret code that only the two of us understood. You seemed like you were uh, really good friends. Oh, I see. So his name is Neil Lawton. Detective Apprentice? We would have been arrivals if he had met in the past. The thief versus the detective. A worthy battle. I wonder who would have won. Whoa, really? <laughs> I see. What is Luna saying? She says you're adorable. But Luna said that? For real? No, it was a joke. Don't play with my feelings like that. I thought I excluded from that conversation. I wanted to understand what Luna's saying too. Selene Ambrose, Luna's friend. I suppose she can't be a bad person. Wait a second, could it be? Just like Diana and Apollo. Selene. I must tell Luna! But they look so adorb. Luna seems so happy. I can't tell her that now. I must admit that thanks to Luna, Luna, I mean, thanks to Celine, Luna looks a lot more cheerful. Moments ago, she was very frightened. Ugh, what do I do now? Luna was talking to me about what happened so far. I just arrived, I just arrived at this building too. You just arrived? That means you still got time to escape? Exactly, I guess I arrived before you. That's impossible, we didn't see you in the previous buildings. I was thinking about that too, I didn't see you either. It's so weird, don't you think? Perhaps everyone enters the buildings in different orders, and that might be why we haven't met in the others. Since we're in the same situation, I believe we should go together. Luna told me that you're very smart, and with the three of us together, it'll be very easy to find the train. Together? Alright. I think it, I also think it's better to go together. Yay, so it's decided. I know she's hiding something behind that smile, but for now, it's best to stick together. Perfectly timed music. I'm fascinated by these kinds of quick machines. I find the idea of creating something useful from different pieces very cool. You know about machinery? Well, just some very basic things, but the machines that are in this building are pretty complex. I don't think my knowledge would help much. Oh no, not the entire thing again. Oh god, I pressed it again! Okay. 
If I had my tools, I wouldn't. I would be able be able to open these boxes in seconds. Tools. All thieves have their own tools, but right now I don't have them with me. Why did I have to stop being a thief? Now is the time that those things would have come in handy. Perhaps I should resume my career as a thief. You shouldn't say that before a detective apprentice. But who is your master then, if you're an apprentice? Damn it! I gotta stop doing that. If I had my tools, I'd be able to. Those are that's a barrel. Why is that the same commentary? The, all right, whatever. Neil, eat one of these mushrooms. I'm curious to know what would happen. Maybe your skin would turn blue like the mushrooms. It could be fun. If you're so curious, eat it yourself. You're right. Let's see what it tastes like. Don't eat it, you idiot. I wasn't going to. You're way too innocent, Neil. Well, she's dead, right? Because I like her so much. If I had my tools, I would... Oh, god damn it. All right, I'm going to stop looking at boxes in this room, all right? Celine! I'm not gonna look at that either. Let's just go in the next room. Oh boy, hanging bears. That's cool. It's a red teddy bear. Luna, these teddy bears are so ugly. They look like the ones we had in the orphanage. Remember, we would hide them in the closet because they freaked us out. I don't blame you. These are very disturbing. One of them has a gem. Blue teddy bear. Green teddy bear. Purple teddy bear. It's holding a purple gem. You know, before I take that, why don't I see what the rest of this room looks like? Okay. Okay, then. I should probably get that purple gem, huh? Well, now that I've saved, I can very safely pick up that purple gem and die in the process. Let's go. Neil, I didn't know you liked stealing, too. That's very unusual for a detective. Of course not. We're just borrowing it without permission. At least you should trade something for it, don't you think? No one likes to get things taken from them. I know what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, I better put that gem back. Ah, shit. There's no other gem in here. I'm gonna die. That was a very big hint. Let's keep moving. Okay, that, that bear is gonna kill me. Why well, wouldn't you just let me put the gem back? Alright, whatever. I guess it was they spent a while since they've had an instant instant death, so. Alright, let's find something that we could put in the hand in case we need that gem later. So over here, in this corner, we can't see anything, it's too dark. For now it's best we get out of here. Well, that was a good corner. Alright, what about over here? Don't you think this building is way better than the others? It just looks just as terrible to me, or perhaps worse. Are you serious? Haven't you noticed all the gems here? You like gems? Yes, I want to take them and sell them when we go back to our world. I've tried to pluck the gems out of the walls, but it's impossible. I see. What you like is the money. Money, money, money. Dirty blankets. I guess some people sleep in the freaking mines, man. This is going to be too dark, too? Nope. Okay, we're good. We have to think of a way to get up there. Ah, uh, well, I guess we can't do anything just yet. I don't know why you're... I'm guessing she's going to be able to lockpick and stuff and do thief stuff, but like so far we haven't had any use yet. Minecart used for transfer, to transfer minerals. There's blood on one side of it. Is this thing going to like travel down and kill somebody if I stand on the... I'm not going to stand on that. It's locked. Empty box on the floor. Take it. What? I just took an entire box? How is that possible? Why did I even take that? Don't move! What? Why? It's a trap here. If you step where you shouldn't, it's over. How do you know that? Don't underestimate me. The people's use the police set up set me up with some pre pretty creative traps. I managed to avoid much more complex ones. This is nothing. What should we do? You just have to follow me. Pay attention. Let me go with you. Bruh. I'm not gonna remember that, I'm just dead. I hate these kind of puzzles. This is just... I can't remember that kind of pathway. Yes, repeat it, please. Right, right, up. You know what? I need to repeat it again while writing down the directions because that's the only way I'm ever going to remember this. Oh, I paused it by, by clicking off the screen. Well, that'll help a lot. 
Let me just do this real quick. You did it! I already knew it would be easy for Luna, but I had some doubts about you. Thanks for putting all your trust in me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me know uh, when you're ready to go back to the other side. Okay. There's some empty food cans. We haven't eaten anything for a few hours now. I hope we can find something to eat soon. There's nothing to do here? Really? There was no point in me coming over here. Oh, there was a lantern. You got a lantern! Oh, talk to her. It's weird seeing you talk to someone else with that smile. You used to be very scared to talk to others. Normally you would just talk to me. Have you managed to overcome your fears during these years, or is it because Neil is an exception? Whatever it is, I'm happy for you. Oh, are you ready to return? Yes. Come on, follow me. Don't tell me I gotta do this again. Thank you. Here we are again, kinda keep you looking for that train. Darn traps. Alright, let's go save and then go through that door. With the darkness behind it. Still got a little time. Let's go check it out. Can't say anything that's too dark, but that won't be too pro- too- That won't be a problem since we found a lantern. Let's use it. Skulls... Blood... Gem! I need that. Blue gem hanging on a chain. Take it. You got a sapphire. Okay. Guess I should have known, huh? Wouldn't be that easy. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Just real quick, though. Just real quick. Let's try that again. Alright, so there's blood over there. Okay, that's interesting. I can rotate these. But why, though? Is there some hint for this? I have an empty box. What's that for? Alright, there's something I need to solve in here, but I don't have the required information for it, so maybe I should leave. I need to figure out what to do with these uh, skulls. So this way was... Oh! The box is for here. It's a really weird puzzle, but okay, sure. Alright, okay, here we go. This is what I need. Let me just take a real quick screenshot of that. There's also a gem over there. Is this one gonna kill me too? I got a ruby. Whatever that's good for. Okay, let's quickly save. And now we have the correct skull order or skull directions. This should be like that. That's down. This should be up. This should be down. This should be that way. There we go. Blue gem, take it. Nice! We got two gems, but I don't know what is for what. We got a purple gem sitting over there on a bear that'll kill me. So rather than do that just yet... I don't know what these gems are for yet, though. I haven't seen a place to put them or anything. Oh, wait, to return? Like, give these guys their gems? No? There's a green gem somewhere I haven't found. Oh wait, these are the slots for the gems, aren't they? But what am I going to give that guy? I can give him a lan my lantern because I don't need it anymore. Is that what it is? Let's find out.
Here, you can have his lantern instead. Shit. Well, I'm dead. Unless you want my pocket watch. Wait, I don't know... It's gonna kill me. I don't know what to do in this situation. There's something in this room I can give it to. Give it to. It's gonna force me to leave and die again. Okay, let me just die real quick. Freaking teddy bear. Teddy bear with a knife! Goddamn teddy bear with a knife, man. Always gets me. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? Why don't we figure out what to do in the next episode, y'all? I gotta go... I gotta... Oh. There's something shining in the rubble. A green key. This key wasn't here before. Where did it come from? Maybe it was here all along and we just didn't notice it. No, I'm sure it wasn't here. The important thing is that we found a key. Let's try using it somewhere. Did you put that key there? Are you evil, Celine? You better not be evil. Alright, whatever. We'll find out what to do with this key. It's probably for that door, honestly. And then we'll probably find another gem in there or something. I hope. And it'll be a fake purple gem. Oh, but well, let's find out on the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. Let me know what you guys think so far of Chapter 3. We got a new character introduced. She's cute. They seem to be hinting that she might be more... There might be more to her. I mean, obviously, that's how they've been doing every single uh, every single time so far. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think, be, do you think she's going to be evil? Do you think she's just totally cool with the bait and switch in the other direction? I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.